What's up everybody? Pumpkin here. So the other day I put out a Ethne mid-range list and uh, I, I, I've been doing some testing with Francesca uh, and Justice and it's okay, but today I decided to play some Dana and I was actually really surprised. We did really, really well. I think we won like eight or nine games in a row. We peaked around like 25 something. Um, we have two games against, uh, I believe, Green Knight and Adzikov uh, with this list and it's really good. And there's something very bizarre that you're gonna notice. I mean, you, you notice immediately at the first, at the top of the the list. There's, there's, there's no oak. Where's oak? Uh, I've never really played any Scoia'tael deck without oak because oak is just a really strong card. Um, but it turns out you don't need it in this deck. So <clears throat> this list has, uh, this list hits eleven. So you can pull out Justice or uh, Ithlin or Dragon or Barnabas. Um, and the idea is. Instead of Oak, we get to play both packages. So the two packages are as follows, Ithlin and Skags and Fob plus Water. Typically, you cannot play both of them uh, if you play Skags because they're both 20 provisions uh, and Skags is a pretty hefty card. I guess in theory, you could remove Dragon and put an Oak, but the problem with that is you're going to be losing a um, one of the, whatever this is called, the primary categories on Dragon, so you'd have to play Saskia, and it just makes it really difficult, and the Immune Dragon's really good against Syndicate, so, um, yeah, Oak, I guess, is not necessary, for whatever reason, you can thank Anne for this, uh, she suggested dropping Oak, I didn't believe her, but it actually works, so props to her, I guess, um, this is pretty straightforward, um, other than the Oak, uh, I'll, I guess I'll run through it very quickly, uh, Dana is your leader, obviously, Fob Water, um, I've been getting into the habit of playing this in round one. So I think the mistake that a lot of people do, including myself up until now, is you hold on to fob water for round three. I don't think this is correct. I think you just play it. In round one, if I lose coin flip and I have fob water in my hand, I play it. Um, unless I think they're not going to be playing a lot of points. So the exception would be like Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard doesn't play too many points in round one. Um, monsters definitely do uh syndicate definitely does sk definitely does northern realms typically does too so i guess only against Nilfgaard i wouldn't because they don't play too many points and they typically don't care about winning round one um but most of the other decks i typically play fob water in round one if i have it obviously if you don't have it you don't play it um nova guardians justice i mean it's just a really good card one of the best cards in Scoia'tael works very well with uh, muscle counts as another primary category for Dana because of crime uh, nice proactive play I don't mind playing this card in round one either I, I should also note on fob the other reason why playing fob water is really good in round one is because it means you can't brick on water later because I'm not gonna play this card this card is trash I'm not gonna play Dryad's Crest uh, to unbrick fob it's just a terrible card Anyways, uh, so yeah, Justice, fantastic card. Ithlin, obviously very good with Skags. Uh, you don't play this card unless you're playing Skags. Uh, Immune Dragon, I love it. It's really good because people are playing Horde right now um, because the mechanic is insanely strong. Um, it works well with Fob Water because it is your only dragon in the deck. It's a nice big proactive play. If you don't draw Skags and you're in round two, you can throw Ithlin on it. The immunity will keep it alive. Yeah, it's just a good card. Um, not much more to talk about. Barnabas, very high value card in the deck. Uh, it is another portion of your uh, primary categories, but more importantly, it's typically a 10 or 12 plus uh, any uh, extra ticks you get on fledglings. Fantastic card. Don't be afraid to play this card in round one, two, or three. Honestly, for this deck, you can play any of these cards in any of the rounds. Um, winning the round is important. So if that means having to play Fob Water on turn one, that's fine. Um, and, I, and once again, I do do this very often. I should mention, if you get... You don't have to win round one. Getting bled with this deck is fine. Uh, just open with Fob Water really early. Uh, don't make the mistake and play something like an Agitator. They play a card, and then you play something slow, like a Cleaver's Muscle, and then they play a card. Because you start to fall behind, and you start to lose uh, value on your Fob Water. Um, like, a lot of value. And you typically do get pushed, and you might have to end up using Leader. What I've noticed is every single game, one of two things happens. If my opponent bleeds me, um, I either go up a card and I go into round three a card up, or they successfully bleed me and I go into round three on even, but I have a leader and they don't. They typically have something like Croc. Croc doesn't really do anything in a short round three. It's like two points. Um, or maybe they're playing 
Garnacora, the the fruit's worth like three points, three to four points in a short round, right? So the idea is if you can get into round three in a short round with leader, unless they're playing like a Dagger Herald or like Woodland or some explosive leader, uh, you should have the advantage. Um, yeah, and every now and then you go up a card or you go up a card and a leader. That happens too. I've done that a couple games. So uh, yeah, Malayne, good removal, strong card. Skags, auto-include in any deck that runs Ithlin, pretty straightforward. Fob we mentioned earlier is kind of important with the Fob water combo. Treant Boar. So if you don't play Oak, you kind of have to play this because, well, you need the Treant Tag. So yeah, th this makes its way into the list. Um, it's a pretty decent card. Sometimes it gets muzzled. This card getting Philippud feels terrible because you have no way to counter it because um, you have no way of doing five damage. Your Panthers can't hit it. Uh, they can heal, so you can't like kill it over two turns. Uh, so be, be a little careful with this card. Uh, if you're playing against Syndicate and they have five plus coins, maybe don't play this card. Um, unless you have like a five point Skags that you're willing to play. Uh, so yeah, uh, do keep that in mind. But against most other decks, it's just a, a nice engine. Um, it does proc your fledglings. Uh, you play like Fav Water into this or... Yeah, so it, it, it's a pretty good card. Um, every now and then it gets no value and whatever i mean you don't really have a choice you need the tree and tag so what are you gonna do it, it's an okay card Siren, uh it's good lock good removal um pretty flexible removal milva uh auto include in any kind of dana list because she has the human tag um and she's immune and immunity is really good against syndicate crushing trap uh you have to play at least one trap and this is the best go-to trap typically finds good value play it at the end of round three or to secure a round in round one or round two uh this is another card that allows you to get blood pretty easily in that, if you get bled, it's not really a big deal because your long rounds are good, right? Because you have cards like Fob Water, Crushing Trap, Tree Board, right? The longer the round goes, the more value you're going to be getting out of your cards. Uh, Panther, you got to play it as a beast. It's a pretty decent card. I mean, it's overcosted compared to Syndicate cards because it's six for six. Syndicate does this for four and five. Um, so yeah, it's a little overcosted, but you don't have a choice. Cleaver's Muscle, fantastic with Justice. Uh, rest of the deck is pretty straightforward. Just a bunch of bronzes that you're going to be playing. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll mention this agitator. If you don't have skags in hand, make sure to keep a muscle in your hand so that you can boost something. Uh, you can always mulligan the muscle later. Uh, if you do have skags, I typically always mulligan muscle away uh, because you don't really want to brick on justice. Bricking on justice is really, really bad. Like, really bad. So don't brick on justice. Always mulligan muscle away unless, of course, you don't have skags in hand. Um, yeah, always mulligan water. The only scenario where you don't mulligan water is you win round one, you draw it in round two, and you have no plan on bleeding. If that's the case, then uh, you keep it in your hand and you mulligan in round three. Uh, this way you can aggressively mulligan in round three and not have a fear of bricking on uh, water. If you brick on water, that feels really bad. So yeah, don't brick on water. Um, I'll let you decide when, or, when it's correct to uh, push that extra mulligan in round three with the potential of bricking on water. Um, if you don't think you can win with the current set of cards you have in your hand in round three, then sometimes you just have to go for it and hope that you don't lose the one and eight. Uh, sometimes your hand is just good enough that there's no reason to risk it. That's the type of thing where you just learn from experience and time, right? So yeah, uh, it's a really good deck. i very surprised by it. Um, if you're looking for a Scoia'tael deck that's not Ethne, this deck works. Uh, it, it, I've beaten everything with it. Funnily enough, the only thing I lost to was a Scoia'tael deck. I played against a Francesca deck um, that played double water in round three, and I missed, like, three gold cards were in the bottom of my, like, eight cards. So that was kind of unfortunate. Um, yeah, so the difference between Dana and Francesca is Francesca getting bled, you lose, whereas Dana getting bled, you win. Um, and that's big because everybody bleeds Francesca, and that's why I think Dana has, like, a clear advantage over Francesca. Uh, and the consistency is insane. Um... You can't not draw justice. It's not possible. With Dana, you have access to everything, uh, which is another reason why not having Oak isn't that big of a deal. Uh, the only way you would have Oak is if you go to 13, and 13 Dana is really bad because you have to play really bad cards like Tactics and Runestone, which are terrible. So, uh, yeah, uh, I got... I'll do two or three games today. One of them will be Adzakov. One of them will be Green Knight. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the third game. We'll see. I'm kind of recording this intro before uh, I've looked at the gameplay. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck guide and the upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, it's Azikov.
John always gets four, but never five. I want a game with more RNG than Hearthstone and less players and artifact. Any recommendation? Yeah, life. More RNG than Hearthstone, less players and artifact. Only one. You. Guess. Humans are not to be trusted. Are we all one person living in a simulation? Perhaps. I mean, yeah, maybe. There's no way of knowing, right? Maybe one day you wake up, maybe you don't. Who knows? Time will tell. How are you so quick, chat? I think the real question is, why are you so slow, John? Hmm? Are you just gonna keep spamming 15 years? Just like the rest of the day. Fifteen years. Mm. Not to worry. The wood will make good use of your corpse. What's a bushwick thing? I I know. I I understand like the reference, but why? We want to win the rounds. I guess we're Get doing this. I don't really want to hit either of these. Stupid question. What's your name? Pablo. It's not Pablo. It's Gabriel. Why did he play that so late? Any tips to not break down laughing every other sentence like I do? What? I'm confused. Why won't inside an outside Dude, like it. Some people have such good RNG, it's insane. Any opinions on general matters? No. General opinions on general matters are Pepiga.
Do you enjoy breathing? No. I, I mean, in the sense that, like, breathing means I'm not dead, I guess, yes. But, like, is it an activity that I enjoy doing? No. Right, I don't get excitement from breathing. Do you enjoy breathing manually? Manually! Yes, I do enjoy breathing manually. Very fun and exciting. Some more Some good, music. good music. Yeah? Uh, song's okay, I guess. Thank you for the 100 bits, John. Do we actually have to win this round? I mean, the fact that he's playing Glusty kind of screams at me that he wants to win this round pretty badly. But, like, blowing a 14 Skags and a Barnabas doesn't feel right. Can't be worth it. Not with Fob still in deck. Because he's not going to bleed. If he bleeds, he loses. Unless he's playing no unit AQ. We don't need anything. We're hitting Milva with leader. I mean, I'll take a Malayan, I guess. Milva and Merlane are both good. Pog. No reason to get greedy. So we'll go Fledgy into Bob Water Milva. Tried to make your decks closer to the wall behind you? Why would I do that? What does that accomplish? Huh. Huh. We played Karen. I don't really want to skag that. To show the plates better? Nah. I guess we're not playing around Arrakis Venom. But I don't think we're supposed to. We'll pay man back for the persecution. Milva first is correct, is it? No, it's not. This is plus three. This would be plus two. It's only better if I need tall unit, which I don't. Huh. You play Squiatel? No, you don't. Don't lie.
I think he's gonna renew Karan. So we kill this. No, because if he renews Karan. If he renews Karen, he's not renewing Glusty. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Bong? Sure. Ah, uh, we win. Yeah, it's just too many points. I don't know. Either like a massive snorkel on like a bubble that can go around my head, and breathe through that, and then put the mic inside the bubble thingy. Darth Vader helmet. Dude, lots of high players tonight. We got Adzikov, we got Green Knight. Yeah, you can submerge your PC in conductive oil. That's true, but I don't really think I want to swim in oil. You can just blub, 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 blub on stream. Yeah, that's true, I could do that. VR waterproof goggles. I mean, you could do VR waterproof goggles. You just put a VR headset on and then go in a plastic bag. Forehead. We've left in isolation for too bloody long. You don't need to talk if you're shirtless. Yeah, is that how that works? If I do a shirtless stream, I can not say anything. Florida man drowns while trying to play game underwater. Yeah, that'd be a fun video. <laughs> I'd have to move to Florida. Do people like Florida? Uh -huh. No. I mean, I've been to Florida a couple times. It's really hot. Have you sold any bath water yet? Yeah, we, we, we sold a couple hundred dollars worth. Eh. I don't know if I want to keep going here. Yeah, I guess. Peace with humans, I buy the ass. There's a lot of old people in Florida. I'm gonna get bled. I don't really have a choice here. Uh, I'd have to play a dragon here. Or, or, or a cleaver. Cleaver would work. Okay. 
Where am I from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan. Just need to keep herself on 10. I don't want to play this, but I'll play it if it means winning around. <laughs> 16? Yeah, we're done. Ah, this is 18. I mean, I can keep up, but I'd have to blow dragon, and I don't like that very much. I think we're okay. Unless he has, like, the nuts. If he has, like, double spear tip. Not great for us. This is technically worth six with this. We keep this for Necker, so should we mulligan this? Okay, that has to go. I want him to start with, like, anything under 10. If he starts with, like, an 11, it's really bad for me. But I haven't played any pairs yet, so in theory we could be Shoop. He has Foglets? I mean... No, I meant me, not him. Frog Girl story, best st story. <laughs> That's not even really a story. What's your opinion on the alternative Crimson Curse? The purple one? Um, I like it more than the regular red one. So, if you have neither... If you're getting validation on whether or not you should get it, and if it's better, then I guess the answer is yes. Oh, and you like my froggy story? Yeah? Chat, what's your least favorite animal? Everybody knows their favorite animal, but you guys know your least favorite animal? Me? Oh, okay. <laughs> lizards? What do you have against lizards? Centipede? Why? What's wrong with centipedes? Is he Brazilian or Taiwanese? Neither. I was born in Brazil. I was not born in Brazil. I was born in Taiwan, but I have Brazilian citizenship. But I'm American. Wasp? Like, I can understand you disliking wasps. They're annoying. They hurt. But, like, lizards? What do lizards do? In Taiwan, we had tons of lizards. We had lizards and geckos, like, crawling up the walls. That was just a normal thing. Do you speak English? No. What 
We could go for a tall unit, but I don't really want a blood dragon. I kind of want to hold on to him. Can you give us Taiwan trivia? No. Komodo danger it? Oh, dragons? What's wrong with Komodo dragons? Can't read, can't hear. Well, I read Komodo Dangerous, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, somebody said Komodo Dragon, so I'm assuming that's what he meant. <laughs> I guess. Let them bite you? I don't really enjoy when things bite me. Well, yeah. I guess it depends on what it is. Not your lucky day. We can still lose this. What if I bite you? I don't know. I don't know who you are. If CDPR makes the faction bug a seasonal mode, what deck would you play? I'm not sure. Life is fleeting, but life is eternal. Hmm, I don't know. I lose one point on leader. Weren't you supposed to play fledgling first? Then we lose two points on boar. Oh my word. What the? He almost got it, but he papiga'd. Oh my goodness. How do you papiga that, mate? I think you're really 